In this video, we're gonna learn how to add beautiful eyelashes in Photoshop. But before we jump straight into the tutorial, I gotta tell you two things up front. Number one, if you get the eyelashes right in makeup when you take the picture, obviously it's gonna be much better than you do in post. Number two, the only way to add beautiful eyelashes in Photoshop is to use custom special brushes designed for eyelashes. So before we jump straight in, make sure you download the brushes, the link to which are in the description below. These are the brushes that I have not made. I have downloaded them from free sources and I have made a collection of them. So I don't take the credits for them. Also if you look into some of the brushes, they have links to the artist who made them. So make sure you check out their content and support them. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and as you might remember from the last tutorial, we learned how to whiten the eyes. If you have not watched the video yet, go ahead and check it out right here, okay? To add the eyelashes, we need to first load in the brushes. So once you have downloaded the brushes, here's how to load them in. So select the brush, I've already loaded them in and click on this icon, this arrow icon where you select the brushes. Now click on this gear icon, small gear icon right here and select load brushes. Locate where you have the brushes, select the brush, click load and they will automatically load into your brush palette. For example, I select this and I click load, it will load straight in right here, watch. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do, we need to create a new layer. And don't you worry about the color of the eyelash right now. So make it black. So select, make sure black is selected. Make sure hue is checked, black is selected. And select the brush of your choice, select the eyelash of your choice. Now the icons are very small. If you want bigger icons, bigger thumbnails, click on this gear icon right here and select large thumbnails. This way it makes it much easier for you to select the brush you want. So for example, I want this eyelash. So select this. Now, beneath every brush, there's a number. And the higher the number, the bigger the brush, the better the brush, okay? If you choose a brush of very low number, what's gonna happen is, for example, there's a brush of say, these are big numbers, but if there's a brush of very small number, suppose it's in hundreds, so let us let me find you a good brush, which is very small. Here it is, 188. If you select this brush, as you can see, this brush is very small. And now if you make this brush bigger, when you paint with it, the paint will become pixelated. So make sure you select a brush with high number beneath it. So I wanna apply this eyelash, select it, and as you can see, the brush is very bigger. Making it smaller is good. You're not losing details, but making it bigger can result in pixelation. All right, let's zoom into the eyes and let's adjust the size of the eyelash. So to adjust the size, left and right bracket keys. Left bracket key to make it smaller, right bracket key to make it bigger. Also you can press and hold alt or option, drag it to right to make it bigger, drag it to the left to make it smaller. But this only shows you the circle. So better thing to do is bracket keys. So this I think is a good size. Once you're happy with the size, click on make sure black is selected, click on it. Don't worry about color right now. Now we need to adjust this just a little bit. Now to adjust it, the best way to adjust is, is to go to edit, puppet warp. Now once you're in puppet warp mode, make sure you check show mess. This will show you what the eyelash exactly looks like. And then add three anchor points, one, two, and three, okay? two in the corners, one in the middle, that's it. Then check out show mess. Then adjust, click on this, click and drag, and adjust according to the eye. There you go, there you go. You need to adjust this, there you go. We can add one more right here, there you go. Now what is this doing? We can always delete it later. So it's now adjusted to the eye, once you're satisfied with it, hit enter. Now, we need to delete, delete this. So take an eraser, let's delete this area. There you go. Now, don't worry about the color right now. Let's make a copy of this one and just drag it to the other eye. Also, there's a brush for the other eye. Have a look, there's a brush for the other eye, but you can always go ahead and copy that makes your life so much more easier and faster. Control T. Right click, 
flip horizontal. There you go. You can always go ahead and rotate it. You have to, I think. So press your anchor point, place your anchor point here. And from here you rotate it. This sets best. There you go. Now let's adjust it just a little bit. Now it's looking great. The below eyelashes, I don't know what to call them, but uh, the eyelashes that are on the down area of the eye. To do that, also a brush. Let's create a new layer and let's change the brush to something which is of that area. There you go, I found this brush. This brush might be very nice, all right. So for the left eye, this is the brush, okay. And let's make the brush a little smaller and paint with it. Okay, you, we might wanna, we might have to rotate this just a little bit, but let's see, let's paint with it. There you go, it looks really nice. Okay, you might wanna increase the hair, so let's paint with it again. There you go, this increases it, but it's looking very funky. So let's make the brush a little bigger. How does this, how does the bigger look? It looks nice. Okay, now we need to rotate it just a little bit. Move the anchor point to the corner and then rotate this. There you go. Okay, now we need to erase and set it up just a little bit. Edit, puppet warp. And uh, let's see where the mesh is. There you go, you might wanna adjust this. Okay, these are separate hairs. There you go. It's looking good. Press enter once you're satisfied. There you go, it's adjusted. Now, we just have to copy it. And control T, right click, flip horizontal, and place it over here. And we might wanna rotate it again. Place the anchor point at the corner, rotate. There you go. Cool, awesome. Now about the color. These eyelashes are right on the money. Now we need to color this. To color this, before we color this, make sure you merge all the layers. To merge all the layers, select all of them. Merging all the layers can make things destructible. And we are working in the new era of non-destructive editing. So instead of merging, make a group out of it. So once you've selected all of them, press Controller Command G, this creates a group. Let's turn it on and off and let's see the before and after. So let, this looks pretty nice and black also, but if you wanna change the color, add a new adjustment layer. This, click on this circle icon with white and gray. Click solid color and select the color you want. Doesn't matter, select anything, okay? For now, select anything. And press and hold Alter option and click on the line between group one and this solid color. This way it applies only to the eyelashes. Now you can always go ahead, click on this. You can select any color you want. Isn't this amazing? Now, if you want this color to match with that of the eyebrow, click on the eyebrow color. Now, this might seem very light, so we want to maintain the color, but we want to darken it. So let's switch to B. What is B? Brightness. This will maintain the color, but will brighten or darken it in the same color range. All right, so there you go. Darken it just a little bit, looking like an eyebrow right now. Amazing. There you go. Click OK. Now it's matching with the hair also matching with the eyebrow. So that's how you add eyelashes in Photoshop, before, after. So that's all for this video. First off, a big shout out and thank you to Andres Vargas for sending over this image and letting me edit it. To check more of his beautiful works, go ahead and check it out right here. And if you want your images to be retouched by me, go ahead and send me a Facebook message or tweet me. I'll be very happy to retouch your images and be assured that I won't sell them. You can always paste your watermark there. Thanks a lot for watching and if this video helped you make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe click on that bell button so that you don't miss anything i'll be coming out with more eye retouching tutorials this week so make sure you stay tuned till then keep creating